tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Let's get started with animation. Hi folks, geometry in 3D animation is usually something like this. It is a shell basically and it is empty. So we're inside now and uh, there's nothing in there. Whereas in the real world when you have such a box, uh, at least the skin of the box has a certain thickness, whereas here it does not. I want to show you something about the mixture between Bifrost Editor and, well, the normal procedure to create objects in Maya and this leads us to a very simple and effective node in the Bifrost Editor which is called Mesh to Volume. Now we create a mesh, right mouse click here for example and the helix and let's spread the helix a little bit more in height like this and uh, we could animate it and the volume would be animated too but I just wanted, wanted to show you how this goes. Now I open under Windows the Bifrost Graph Editor and here I create a new graph. This is the light blue button here. I can delete the input. I can always reintroduce the input if necessary. And what I do now is I middle mouse drag, this middle mouse is important, the helix, which is our mesh, into this field. Now we have the input is our helix and the output is the output. Currently we don't see anything change, that's obvious, but uh, what we'll do now is we introduce a new node by uh, pressing tab. And you see that I already searched for it, for the recent commands, mesh to volume it is called. If you don't um, have this here, you just type in mesh and then you find lots of entries here, what you can do, smooth mesh for example. And uh, one of the options here is mesh to volume, it's almost at the top, mesh to volume. Looks impressive but uh, we don't care about it, mesh, mesh, we do this connection and volume is the output so we'll have an, a volume and not a shell anymore once we connect this to the output. That's all. Just let's meditate on this. We have an input which is our helix which is geometry which is uh, geometry with an empty inner space and uh, uh, an infinitely thin shell. And we feed this into a mesh to volume node and out comes a hopefully <laughs> a volume. So let's minimize this and you already see that something has changed here and uh, this is the volume. Now we hide the helix and here you can see that you created a volume. Now it resembles the original shape, the helix, but we can go more into detail by reopening the graph uh, editor or the Bifrost graph editor, select the mesh volume and here we have several things like offset. Uh, I give you an example for changing the offset for example to 2. Then it gets much bigger and can we set it to 0? That's where it was so this is basically the shape of the helix, of the original helix, but a little bit bigger than the original helix. And uh, what you can do now is you uh, change this from the resolution mode from relative to absolute. Go back to relative and change the detail size now from 0 0.5, which is the default, to 0 0.1. And here you have a similar effect, very detailed. In order to animate this, you can do several things. You can animate the helix and then the, this fog will be animated as well. But basically this is only the starting point. You need colors, etc. I just wanted to show you briefly what this node does. And it creates a mesh to a volume and in such an easy way. And when we 
create a cylinder and drag the cylinder with the middle mouse button in here. Tap mesh to volume, connect this and the output goes into a new input channel of the output and now we have two of them. Well, thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing. Over 14,000 subscribers. Wow, I never imagined anything like this uh, just two years ago. And apart from that, there's a well, I've gone through so many phases of uh, Maya versions and student editions, etc. And the current state is not very good. We're in spring 2022. The new licenses for students need a certain academia account which is not very good for somebody who is 13 maybe and who wants to study computer animation using Maya. So I think there's a heavy migration happening right now from Maya to Blender. Uh, but um, I don't really care. Have a nice day.